Welcome. In this episode, we will unbox an AlphaCore water block for the RTX 4090 and then install it onto a PNY Accelerate RTX 4090's PCB so it can be used in a custom loop water cool system. This is the Vector Network and let's begin. The AlphaCore Aurora Acryl Ace Block Water Block for the reference design used by the PNY Accelerate RTX 4090 is a total conversion custom cooling solution. In addition to the instructions, the box includes a metal backplate, the IO bracket, and an accessories box. The water block is packaged in a black bubble mailer. Opening the wrap reveals a chrome plate of copper water block with a clear acrylic top that incorporates a single black rubber o-ring into the front design. The Alpha Cool Ace Block water block is made out of chrome plated copper and consists of high density cooling fins. These fins are positioned over the GPU to maximize surface area and thermal transfer. In addition, the water block has a fully transparent flow path, which is achieved by its acrylic top plate. With the acrylic top plate, the coolant is clearly shown and allows for the RGB lighting to reflect off of the water block's chrome plated copper construction. For the installation of the water block, we start by peeling off the plastic film on both sides of the thermal pads and placing them directly onto the back side of the water block, one by one. After that, we apply some thermal paste to the processor to ensure full contact with the chrome plated copper water block. Next, the RTX 4090 PCB is placed directly on top and we start with the four main screws around the processor, making sure to use the foam washers. There is one additional screw and washer near the PCIe connection and another one to secure the IO bracket to the PCB. We will apply all the backside thermal pads, first removing the plastic film from both sides. The backplate is then placed right on top of the PCB and secured using the remaining metal screws. Once complete, the RTX 4090 is suited with its chrome plated copper water block and ready to be installed into a custom loop water cooled system. For this water block, Alpha Cool is using a chrome plated copper. Chrome plating is harder, more resistant, and reflects lighting better than nickel plating. As a sneak peek, the plan for this card is to vertically mount it in an inverted Lee and Lee O11 Dynamic Evo. The water cooled PC build will include components from Alpha Cool. Optimus, EKWB, Heat Killer, Lee and Lee, Noctua, Fantex, and we'll have hard tubing. Stay tuned. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos, including one dedicated to the studio that produces this content. Thank you. And I'll see you at the next episode.